Now that we know what pods is capable of, let's go and see how pods works. In the admin area of our WordPress site, we're going to go to plugins and add new. I'm going to search for pods and the first two plugins that come up in the search results are the ones that we're going to use. We're going to use the main pods custom content types and fields plugin plus we're going to use pods frontier auto template as well. That's going to allow us to get easy control over what pods looks like on our site. So go ahead and install both of those. Now that we have both of those pods plugins enabled, we're going to see a pods admin link on the bottom left hand side of our WordPress admin site. I'm going to go to add a new pod. Essentially, I'm going to add a new content type. Pods is going to give me the option on the left hand side to create a new pod, to create a new set of uh, new content type and a new set of fields, or on the right hand side, it's going to give us the ability to manage an existing content type such as posts or pages. I'm going to take the new option and we're going to build an Amazon style website. We're going to have a listing of books with the author, with the publisher, with the year it was published, with all the kind of information you might find on a book website such as Amazon. The singular label is going to be book and the plural label will be books. Then go ahead and click on next step. You'll notice immediately that books has appeared as an extra option in the left hand side of the site here. There aren't any fields. The fields are what is going to make our new pod, you might say, much more interesting and much more useful for our site. For example, if we're looking at Amazon, we just mentioned some of the items that you would list for a book. Let's go ahead and show you how we're going to use those fields to add the more interesting information. On the right hand side, click add field. And the first one that we're going to enter is going to be the publisher. And the description in this case, we can leave blank, but the field type, we're going to have a series of choices. We can enter a plain text field, a website link, a phone number, an email address. We can have a whole paragraph of text. We can enter a date, uh, the time. There's a variety of different options that we can choose in here. We're going to start off with simply the publisher. So the publisher was fairly straightforward. We simply used a plain text field in that example. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. I'm going to click add field and the label this time will be book author and the name as before will be filled in automatically and I'm going to choose plain text once more. Let's give you a third example. I'm going to go ahead and click add field and this time the label will be publishing date and from this list I'm going to choose the date I'm going to click add field and once this has been done you can rearrange the fields if you'd like to. This is for the back end. These are the order of the fields that the person who's creating the content will see. As we'll see later it's distinct from the order that people will actually see them when they visit the front of your site. Once you've added the fields that you want and once you've ordered them as you want to enter them when you're creating books go ahead and click on save pod on the right hand side. It's easy to forget this. If you don't click on save pod, your changes won't be saved. 